Thank you for choosing to participate in this pre-recorded webinar on the Human Services Network or HSNet. HSNet is a comprehensive public directory of services in the human services sector. It is also used as a collaborative toolkit for government and non-government organisations or NGOs to improve service delivery. HSNet is free to use and accessible from any web-enabled device, including your desktop, smartphone or tablet, anytime. This webinar, Users and Groups, is the third of five available and designed to help you understand more about HSNet and use the website more effectively. You will learn about public users, private users and an overview of HSNet groups. More detail about using groups can also be found in webinar four. So let's take a look at the two main types of HSNet users in a little more detail. A public user is any member of the public who doesn't work in the human services sector in New South Wales or an HSNet member who isn't currently signed in. Public users have access to the extensive HSNet service directory and many of its features. Most importantly, the simple and advanced search functions. Webinar 1 takes you through these functions if you aren't familiar with them. Public users can also check community announcements and the jobs board. HSNet members or private users have a closer connection to the sector. They will always work in the New South Wales human services sector and have registered and been approved as an HSNet user. The main difference when compared to a public user is that HSNet members can access extra features such as refined searching and all the benefits of creating and using groups. There's more information on membership in Webinar 2, Membership and Capacity Management. So let's take a closer look at groups. There are some differences depending on whether you are a public or private user. Public groups on HSNet can be seen by anyone. All you have to do is select the Groups tab on the top menu bar. You'll then see a list of all the available public groups. These are often used by NGOs and other service providers to share information about services and events. On the left are options to filter results to your specific interest or needs. This can also be done by using the keywords or group names search field at the top of the site. For example, you could be interested in a counselling job. You can select the Jobs Board, enter the keyword Counselling and request HSNet to only search in that group. Only HSNet members can create public groups. We'll take you through how to do that a little later in this webinar. The way private groups are used is what makes them different to those open to the public. To view private groups, first you need to be signed in. Private groups provide a central, safe and secure space within which frontline caseworkers and other human services staff can communicate and collaborate. You can access a private news feed for sharing documents and resources, a calendar that integrates easily with personal email for group scheduling, and content that is exclusive to group members. Private groups are not visible to the public. They require specific membership, which may be by invitation, or by requesting access, and a member can only join the group when approved by a moderator. Any HSNet member can request the creation of a private or restricted group. Once approved, you'll have full ownership and you'll become the group's moderator. So let's set up a new group. First, check you're logged in, then click on the Group tab in the menu bar. Select Create a new group. A form will be displayed for you to fill out. Let's do that now. We give the group a name, learning about groups for example, and a description, which will explain what the group is about, such as, this is a group in which you can get more information about how to use groups on HSNet. You can include a tag for members to find your group more easily, set who the group is for, HSNet users or the public, and whether or not content has to be approved by a group moderator before going live. To finish, click the Create Group button. Your group will then be reviewed by the HSNet team and you'll be notified by email when it is approved. We'll take you through all of the features and how to use groups in Webinar 4.
That brings us to the end of this HSNet webinar on users and introducing you to groups. Don't forget, we have four other pre-recorded webinars available to take you through even more of the fantastic resources and tools available on the site. If you have any questions or feedback, you can look under the support link at the bottom of the HSNet site to locate the support documents, frequently asked questions, and how to contact us. You can email questions to the HSNet mailbox at hsnet at fax.nsw.gov.au. Provide the HSNet team with feedback via the Your Feedback widget on each page of the HSNet site or call the HSNet team on 02 9765 5260 during business hours. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope HSNet will be an effective and useful tool for all your service needs.